हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर अ वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन डिजिटल सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शेल कंसीडर अ न्यूमेरिकल कंप्यूट सिक्स पॉइंट डी ऑफ द गिवन सीक्वेंस एक्स ऑफ एन व्हिच इज इक्वल टू फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो जीरो एंड ऑल्सो टू प्लॉट मैग्नीट्यूड एंड फेस स्पेक्ट्रम यस दिस इज गिवन न्यूमेरिकल सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन Before we start with the exact solution, first I should know the twiddle uh, twiddle factors, six point twiddle factors, uh, which are W six to the power zero. This is equal to one, and W six to the power one. So this is equal to minus one divided by three, and W six to the power two. So this is equal to plus one divided by three. So these are the first three twiddle factors. Once I know these things, the next thing, the next three twiddle factors are negatives of these, which are w six to the power three, which is equal to minus one. Similarly, w six to the power four. This would be one divided by three. And lastly, w six to the power five. So this is going to be minus one divided by Three. So these are the six twiddle factors we have. Once we know these things, we can start with the solution by writing the expression for DFT. X of k is equal to summation n is equal to zero to n minus one x of n w n to the power k into n. So what should I do next? So just let me substitute the things. So if I proceed further, I'm going to get summation n is equal to zero to capital N minus one. This is the six point DFT. Hence, capital N must be six. Six minus one, I'm going to get five. This would be the upper limit. X of n, w n to the power w n capital N is six. W six to the power k into n. So what I have to do next? Next thing is I need to expand that summation by placing by varying n is uh, n from zero to five. First, let me put n equal to zero. I'm going to get x of zero w six to the power zero. Similarly, plus if I put n is equal to one, I'm going to get x of a uh, one w six to the power k into one. That is k plus. Now let me put n is equal to two. I'm going to get x of two w six to the power k into two. That is two k, correct? Similarly, let me now put x of three n equal to three. I'm going to get x of three w six to the power k into three. I'm going to get three k. Hope you are following me. Plus, so now uh, let me put n is equal to four. I'm going to get x of four w six to the power 4k plus now let me put the last value of n that is uh, x of 5 w6 to the power 5k so this is the expansion of x of k so now let me put the values for x of 0 x of 1 which is, which are given as per uh, yeah which is given in the numerical x of n is equal to 4 3 2 1 0 0 that means x of 0 must be 4 into w6 to the power 0 which turns out to be 1 plus x of 1 x of 1 is a 3 w6 to the power k plus let me put x of 2 as 2 then w6 to the power 2k correct hope you are following me w6 to the power 2k now let me put x of 3 x of 3 as 1 into w6 to the power 3k Next, we have x of 4 as a 0 and x of 5 as a 0. So let me stop over uh, this point of time. So let me just put this uh, in, a, in, a, in a square bracket. And uh, this is very important equation. So now what I do further is I, I'll vary k from 0 to 5 to get the 6 DFT coefficients. So now for k is equal to 0. So first let me consider for k is equal to 0 if I put k equal to 0 in this expression what I'm going to get x of 0 is equal to 4 plus 3 w6 to the power 0 which is 1 I'm going to get 3 into 1 that is 3 plus w6 to the power uh, again 0 I'm going to get it as 1 I'm going to get 2 plus 
1 into W6 to the power 0 which is 1. So ultimately what I am going to get, I am going to get the first DFT coefficient x of 0 is equal to 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9 plus 1, 10. So this is going to be my first DFT coefficient. Is this fine? So similarly what I have to do further is I have to vary, I have to now put k equal to 1. Let me check what I am going to get. For k is equal to 1. If I put k is equal to 1 in the equation, I am going to get x of 1 is equal to 4 plus 3 w6 to the power 1. w6 to the power 1 plus 2 times w6 to the power 2 into 1 that is 2. Similarly, w6 to the power 3 into 1 that is 3. So just have to put the uh, values of those twiddle factors. 4 plus 3 what is w6 to the power uh, 1? Let me just go up and check which is minus 1 by 3. So let me consider putting minus 1 by 3 over here. Plus 2 times w6 to the power 2 which is 1 divided by 3. Similarly, what is w6 to the power 3? Let, just me, uh, let me just go up and check w6 to the power 3 which is minus 1. So I am going to write minus 1 here. So I need to simplify this further. What I am going to get? This is 4. This is uh, 3 and 3 would cancel. I am going to get minus 1. This I am going to get uh, 2 by 3 and here this is minus uh, 1. So I am going to get 4 minus 2 as uh, 2 plus 2 by 3 so ultimately answer of x of 1 is going to be uh, I just have to take the LCM the 2 3 is a 6 plus 2 8 I'm going to get 8 by 3 as my second DFT coefficient so this is going to be x of 1 in the similar way I have to proceed further so what should I do is for k is equal to 2 so if I put k is equal to 2, what I am going to get? So let me just check that. x of 2 is equal to 4 plus 3 times w6 to the power k. So here is the expression w6 to the power k. k is 2 now. Plus 2 times w6 to the power 2k. 2 into 2 I am going to get 4 plus w6 to the power 3k 3 into 2 I'm going to get 6 uh, what should I do now I just have to place the values of these twiddle factors so that I can simplify this further 4 plus 3 what is w6 to the power 2 I think it is 1 divided by 3 let me just go up and check w6 to the power 2 yes I'm right 1 by 2 plus 2 w6 to the power 4 what is w6 to the power 4 which is again 1 divided by 3 so I'm going to get 1 divided by 3 plus w6 to the power 6 so these values are unknown w6 to the power 5 till that I know rest of the values are not known so what should I do I have to use the property of total factor as periodic 0 1 2 3 4 5 so whatever the values I get after this I can write it below so I uh, they are equivalent to their previous values so just let me consider these things uh, 11 uh, 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 it's it is so on so what I'm looking for I'm looking for w6 to the power 6 which turns out to be w6 to the power 0 which is 1 so ultimately I'm going to get 1 here so if I simplify this further I'm going to get 4 plus the 3 by 3 and it is 1 and 2 divided by 3 plus 1 so what is this so this turns out to be 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 plus 2 divided by 3 if I take the LCM as 3 uh, 6 3 is 18 plus 2 20 divided by 3 so this is going to be my third DFT coefficient which is x of 2 correct yes moving further so let me check uh, now I have to put k is equal to 4 5 and 6 so let me consider uh, this space over here yes so now let me put for k is equal to 1 let's see what happens for k is equal to 1 if I put a uh, not 1 
I'm done all these things. Till three, I am. Uh, till two, I am done. Four, uh, three, four, and five. I'm yet to do. So now, well, let me put k is equal to uh, three. What happens if I put k is equal to three? I'm going to get x of three. So what is this x of three is equal to four plus three times w six to the power k. K is three plus. 2 times w6 to the power 2k 2 into 3 that is 6 plus w6 to the power 3k 3 into 3 i'm going to get this as 9 yes so now i just have to place the values of these things this is 4 What is w6 to the power 3? w6 to the power 3 is nothing but minus 1 hence i'm going to get this as minus 3 Then w6 to the power 6 is nothing but w6 to the power 0, which is 1 plus 2. I can write and similarly w6 to the power 9, which is nothing but w6 to the power 3, and w6 to the power 3 is minus 1. So if I do that, what I'm going to get? So this is uh, 4 plus 2, that is 6. 6 minus 4, I'm going to get 2 as the answer. So this is my fourth DFT coefficient x of 3. Which is equal to two. So let me again put also this in a box. So this is the fourth DFT coefficient. Similarly, moving on further, for k is equal to four, what is going to happen? If I put k is equal to four, I'm going to get x of four, which is equal to four plus three times w six to the power k, which is four plus. 2 times w6 to the power 2k 2 into 4 that is 8 plus w6 to the power 3k 3 into 4 i'm going to get this as 12 so let me simplify this this is 4 w6 to the power 4 what is that value w6 to the power 4 is nothing but 1 by 3 so this is uh, 3 into 1 by 3 plus 2 times w6 to the power 8 which is nothing but w6 to the power 2 and its value is 1 by 3 so let me place 1 by 3 over here plus w6 to the power 12 which is nothing but w6 to the power 0 and its value is 1 so if i simplify this uh, what i am going to get let me check this is 4 plus 3 by 3 is 1 Plus two by three plus one. So if I simplify this, I'm going to get four plus one five plus one six plus two by three. Again, I have to take the LCM as three. Three into six that is eighteen plus two, uh, which is twenty divided by three. This is going to be my fifth DFT coefficient, which is nothing but x of four. So once I get this, I can consider the last one. By placing uh, k is equal to hmm, k equal to five. Let's see what I'm going to get. So let me write for k is equal to five. If I put k is equal to five, I'm going to get x of five, which is equal to four plus w six to the power five plus w six to the power two k, which is ten plus And this is two twice two times two times w six to the power ten plus w six to the power three uh, k three into five that is fifteen. So I just have to simplify this further. Uh, I think there is three times here three times w six to the power five. Uh, yes. So here I'm going to get four. Plus three w six to the power five. What is w six to the power five? Uh, which is nothing but minus one divided by three. So I have to place minus one by three plus two times w six to the power ten. W six to the power ten is nothing but w six to the power four, and w six to the power four is one divided by three. So let me write one by three. Plus w6 to the power 15 and w6 to the power 15 is nothing but w6 to the power 3 and its value is 1 divided by 3. Is that is that right? w6 to the power 3 
W6 to the power 3 is minus 1, sorry, W6 to the power 3. I have to be very careful over here, which is minus 1. Let me check it again. W6 to the power 15. W6 to the power 15 is W6 to the power 3. W6 to the power 3 is minus 1. Yes, I am right. Simplifying this further, what I am going to get, this is 4, this is minus 1. Just let me write this clearly. Minus 1 plus 2 divided by 3 minus 1. If I solve this, uh, what I am going to get? So this is uh, 4 uh, minus 2, this is 2 plus 2 by 3. So if I take the LCM as 3, I'm going to get uh, 3 twos are 6 plus 2, 8 divided by 3 as x of 5. So this is the sixth DFT coefficient. Yes, this is the final DFT coefficient with this I'm going to get my final answer. Let me summarize all those things. I would get x of k. Here I'm going to get the first coefficient is a 10. The first coefficient is, I said this is a 10, comma. The second DFT coefficient is 8 divided by 3. And then I have 20 divided by 3. Similarly, moving further, the next coefficient is a 2. Then I have 20 divided by 3 and lastly I have 8 divided by 3. So this is the final answer for x of k. Once I get this, the next task is to uh, plot the magnitude and the phase spectrum. So how does the magnitude phase spectrum looks like? x of k magnitude of this which is square root of a square plus b square. There is no imaginary part here, so t t square root of 10 square, which is 10 again, square root of uh, 8 by 3 square, which is again the same thing, and 20 divided by 3, 2, 20 divided by 3, and lastly 8 divided by 3. The magnitude spectrum is still going to be the same. And what would be the phase spectrum? Angle of x of k. So there is no imaginary part involved, hence it is going to be all zeros because x of k is a real sequence, hence its phase is going to be zero. Finally, this is what I am going to get. Uh, it is asked, it was asked to sketch uh, those uh, spectrums, so that can be considered over here. Yes, this I am going to call this as magnitude of x of k with respect to k. So k varies from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and x of 0 that is 10. So I can put it over here. So the first one let me just consider a straight line. Yes, here I'm going to plot 10 and then 8 by 3 so let me 8 by 3 is nothing but 2.66 so let me consider it over here and the next one is a 20 divided by 3 which is 6.66 so let me consider over here and then I have uh, 2 so somewhere here and then uh, x of 4 is again 20 divided by 3 which is 6.66 let me put over here and lastly I have x of 5 which is 8 divided by 3 2.66 so here I'm going to consider this so this is going to be my magnitude uh, spectrum so what is uh, phase spectrum so let me consider x-axis and uh, y-axis for that as well let me call this as y-axis and this is x-axis and let me call this as angle of x of k. k varies from again 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So here this is the variable k for all the things we got it as 0. So let me plot 6 zeros over here. So this is going to be my phase spectrum. Yes, with this I have completed this numerical. I have found the 6 point DFT of the given sequence and I also have plotted the magnitude and phase spectrum. I have explained everything step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there still there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm definitely answer I, I'm happy to answer those doubts. Thank you so much for watching.